Shingles is an infection of a nerve in the associated skin caused by a virus called the herpes varicella zoster virus. We actually catch this normally in our childhood because it's the virus that gives us chickenpox. The problem is the body can't really get rid of the virus in a lot of cases. It lies dormant, inactive, in the nervous system, sometimes for decades. And if it meets an opportunity, it will then come out on a nerve and infect the nerve and the skin that's associated with it. It then gives pain and a rash, and that's called shingles. You can get shingles anywhere on the body. In, on the trunk, it tends to appear as a band of rash and pain. And other parts of the body, like the face, it will be a patch, but it can be anywhere from top to toe. Shingles can be triggered by a number of things. Um, often it's something that lowers your immunity slightly, so it may be that you've had a recent infection. Um, it can sometimes be triggered by medications that lower your immunity, but often, we don't really know, it can be something as simple as being overtired and stressed. Shingles starts with an area of pain on the body, normally on one side. The pain can be itching or burning in nature, sometimes with sharper areas. Uh, after about two or three days, a rash starts to appear and the rash then will uh, continue appearing for about a week. Overall, the illness lasts for about two to four weeks. During that time, you have the rash and you have the discomfort. When the shingles rash is there, it starts off as red blotches. Later, it develops blisters rather like chicken pox, but in a concentrated area. After two or three days, each of the blisters tends to go more yellow, flattens, dries out, and eventually crusts over. You can pass on the chickenpox virus if you have shingles, but only to people who are susceptible to it, in other words, people who've never had chickenpox. It's passed on directly by contact with the blisters. So if the area is covered up where the blistering is taking place, then it's unlikely you can pass on the virus. And once the blisters have crusted over, then you are no longer contagious. Shingles is a relatively common disease. It affects about one in five of us overall in our lifetime. And typically it's older people that get it, people over the age of 50. This is probably because their immune system isn't quite as healthy as younger people. With simple shingles, uh, the treatment is more or less waiting for the, the illness to go away, but often people need to take some pain relief for the discomfort that goes with it. With older people and people who get shingles in certain areas, particularly near the eye, and patients who may have some disease that affects their immune system, then we may need to use antiviral drugs. These need to be started within three days of the onset of the rash, ideally, and then you, that will shorten the, uh, the duration of the illness and make it milder. If you've just been diagnosed with shingles, the main thing to do is to make sure that the area is dry and that the clothing is loose. Uh, if you haven't sought some advice from a healthcare professional, it might be worthwhile doing that. Uh, but in general, as long as you make sure that you're not putting other people at risk, and that means keeping the area covered, uh, then you should be okay and the illness will go away by itself.